Hello everybody, it's Hannah, and welcome to Heta X, End of the World. I've been saying I wanted to do it forever, and we'll be doing it. Uh, the game starts up with already having a save, so as you can see, as you know, I always pick one first, but we'll be starting with opening the apocalypse. I know a bit about this because I did a previous recording. I did a previous recording of this that ultimately failed because my laptop was under, was having problems. So, you know, let's hope this time it doesn't cause any problems and I can keep the footage. So I do know a bit about what this is and I'll have a, a general idea. But warning, the game contains dark scenarios, sometimes mild descriptions of murders and adult themes. As with most second players, they're murderers. Proceed with caution. If you're reading this message, then you're definitely a lucky person. Please continue. And you'll understand why. I know who's saying this, but, you know. Just remember, you have survived through the tragic X day, and you didn't even know about it. But, you know, I don't feel like going through a whole accent thing right now. This one I do know. What? It, it can't be. This is... You don't have to scream, dear. This is normal. Soon that day will come. Who are you? Ah, uh, you, you are. No need to be afraid yet, either. You know me very well. What do you want? Why are you showing me this? What's that day you're talking about? It is simply an inevitable day. That's it. Chapter 1. Dreams. Like I said, these are like, so cute. Let's look around before the meeting. Or am I? There we are. Let's go to this one. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, America. <laughs> What's up? You look really down. The guards said let me bring Kumaburo along. Now I feel lonely. I don't really get why that Kumaji what's it. But the hero's here, so don't worry. Um, what's your name again? <sighs> I'm Canada. Good morning, America son. Good morning to you too, Japan. You seem really happy today. Well, yes. I'm the world meeting host today. This is an honor for me. Ha, <laughs> you're so polite, dude. <sighs> I can't help it since I'm Japanese. Are you ready? When you're ready to start, come and talk to me again. Okay. What do you want? I'm busy. Cool it, man. I'm just wandering around. That's a lot of papers. I know. There! I'm so excited! Japan's place is so neat! Who's this? If anyone interrupts the meeting again, I'll shoot them with my rifle. Maybe back up, like, 24 feet. Oh, wait. What are you doing? I'm looking for my Romano. Well, good luck with that. I think Romano's here somewhere. Oh, hello, Mr. Omega. Hey, Lithuania, what are you doing here? I'm setting the food for after the meeting. Food? That's awesome. Keep it up. I know you could find Romano. I just don't know where he is. I didn't find him my first time. I heard you could find him, but I'm not sure about that. Oh, it's you, America. Uh, France, what are you doing? I'm drinking wine from my home. You shouldn't drink alcohol before the meeting. Look who's talking. Didn't you just eat a load of hamburgers? But hamburgers don't mess with my judgment. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know where Romano could be. Can I go? Ah. Uh, can I read? No. Alright, let's just talk to Japan and get this over. Do you wish to start the meeting now? Yep. Okay, 
Here's the problem, and we'll talk about the day. I want everyone to listen very carefully. Where will we have pasta for lunch? Be quiet, Italy. Let Japan finish his speech first. <sighs> so back to the main topic. I, uh, uh. Sorry. I feel like it's so dizzy. Serves him right. Franson, you may take a glass of water for yourself. Anyway, I want to talk about the world economy and unemployment. Nom nom nom. So yummy. Dum dum dum. What are you eating? Can I have some? There's no way I would give you my food out of Go, 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 go. Get away from me! Hey, pasta? Do you want me to bring some food to you? Gee, Stop clinging to me, tomato bastard! Guys... Something's missing. Where's England? Everyone? Are you trying to flirt with my brother? I will skin you alive. Help me, Haru! Stop! Alright, no more interruptions of the sun. Japan's really mad now. Sorry I'm late. England's son. You look unhappy. Is something wrong? Nothing. Okay, I will stop the meeting topic again. It's rare for you to arrive to a meeting late, Aglater. What do you want, Frog? We're in a meeting. Hey, that's rude. I didn't do anything cruel to you. Today, anyway. But whatever. Aglater, you have bags under your eyes. You need more beauty sleep. Though no sleep in the world could make you as beautiful as moi. I do. You didn't sleep well, did you? Maybe you should do more of me. Nightmare. Hmm? I dreamt about the other me. That's impossible. Isn't only he the one who can contact that world? Catching up fast like that isn't you at all. Yes, you're right, but that's not all. What else? Well, I saw... Ahem. Do you have something useful to share with everyone? Oh, no, sorry. We're so sorry, jeez. Fine, since it's you, this I'll never let it pass. Thank you. Back to the overcutting problem. Your food is totally awesome. Oh, thank you. America, son? What? If you want to go after English and the son, then you can go. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know what you are worried about. Just go. Well, thank you. I wonder what's going into England on today. Ah, I probably should have told them about my problem first. It shouldn't cause any harm, right? Where are they again? France, I need you to. It's England. Do you understand your role in all this? I know, I know. You can count the big brother of Europe. I highly doubt that. So here's the ticket. Take your flight and go to the forest like I told you about. Okay, okay, you don't have to tell me twice. Don't tell anyone about this, understand? Because the whole thing is going to be dangerous, non. It's not that serious, Frog. I just need you to accompany me. When I tell you to go home, you must go. Fine, but that's very rude for you when you've asked for my help. Oh, just shut the hell up, you bloody frog. I hope you guys don't mind me taking my own advantages of this. I hope there won't be any problem. Fritz! Oh, how long have you been there? Are you in England playing something to do something dangerous? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I won't tell you. Really? I, his face is so scary. Friends. Fine, I give up. I will tell you. Where am I? Oh, yeah, I know this part. Under the sea? 
Something is under the water so far. It's round and glowing. I reached it. I have it. That voice? What does it sound like? A me. <laughs> Is that me? What's he doing? All I have to do is crash it. It would be so easy. Worlds like these must be destroyed. I can't talk. Stop. Don't do that. Stop! No! <sighs> it, it was just a dream. A terrible one. Not a person. Oh well, it couldn't have been me, right? After all, I couldn't even have to fly. But still, I feel like that was me. But not my usual self. There! Forget about that. Let's go eat something first. So, this is the forest that France told me about. Okay, let's go. Sneak emerged. So the fighting system's a little different in this. As you can see, there's a little attack bar. America, Alfred F. Jones was victorious. Fushman's. Alfred's now level 2. Regular clothes and the revolver. He's the hero. Powerful with one shot. The usual cloth. No skills. Items. Potions. Restores a bunch of streaky healing. Alright. Wow! This is really a nice house. And the door looks massive. Luckily I got to keep from France. Hmm. The second floor? That's Frog. He should have been here by now. England! You finally showed up for- What the- What are you doing? What the hell are you doing here? I came to rescue you, of course. The bloody hell are you talking about? I heard what you and France were talking about, about something dangerous, and- Your head is really made of hamburgers. That's not your problem. Go back now. Nope. I want to know what you're doing. You can't make me go home. I don't want to hear your heroic excuses. Go home. No. What's going on? You. I can't do a Scottish accent. And I'm not going to try. Forgive me. But I've never heard a person speak Welsh or ever heard a Welsh accent. So I'm not, I'm definitely not doing Wales. Irish, I could probably fudge it, but it's gonna. But if I try to fudge a Scotland one, it's gonna sound like an Irish one. So I'm probably not gonna do either, just for the sake of argument. So I can't do accents. Like I said, my job isn't to do accents in life. <laughs> and the accents I do fake, I know are hor horrendously <laughs> awful. So <laughs> what? Give me a few days and I'll probably try to learn but for now no 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 it's nice to see you oh oh no little brother what nice to see you too Scotland I thought you were, said you were coming with France why is the brat here hey I'm not a brat I'm the United States of America don't waste your time arguing with him Scotland Let's go to your room so we can ask you some questions. Island is here too. Wells will come later. Stop talking and start walking. You should hurry too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't get it. In Why did England sound so sad? Are they really brothers? 
Well, they do have the same eyebrows. I know every... I know you must be confused. I'll explain everything later. Is my mind really that easy to read? Okay, the picture in the corner, I... Like... This is from a very... A very nice photo. I've seen it, like, everywhere that talks about... The quote-unquote Kirkland brothers. Which is Alistair, Wales, and England. I swear to God, that's actually Wales in that photo. <laughs> Uh, future me. Well, actually, this is going to be my editor. Well, future me will remind my editor. But, whoever's editing the video, whether it be editor Ch Chen or future me, throw up the picture right now for, like, a brief second. <laughs> so, anyways. I swear to God, that is... Uh, whales. Hold on, I'm pulling up the picture on my phone. Yep. I swear to God, that is Wales. And the picture they use for Wales is actually Ireland. Yeah. Because the first photo of the three... The haircut matches the whales of that. The one they use for the wiki. Which is actually kind of interesting. But it's alright. Anyway, take down the photo. We're going to continue. It's been so long since I last saw you. I have something very important to talk to you, Scott. I see. You even brought a guest with you. The atmosphere seems odd. Hey, kid. Hurry up and get over here. Oh, I'm coming. Okay, let's get over this so we can have a real family combat. No more family combats today, Scott. Come on, our England rarely comes to visit us like this. Besides, don't you want to have a nice competition? I surely don't. Arr! Scotland! We are here to, to discuss a serious problem, not some stupid game of yours. England, you look older than me with that attitude. Shut up, Scotland. I hate you. And his hair is super messy. I wonder what kind of shampoo he uses. Excuse me, your hair is messier than mine, stupid. Who are you calling stupid, you little twat? Ireland? England? Oh yeah? You wanna have a go? Let's get this over with. I'll put a curse on you. So be it, sick! Enough! Carl! Arthur! Scott... You guys know we have a guest here, right? Carl, behave. Arthur, sit down. Fine, Alistair. Okay. Wow. Th isn't that Scotty amazing? He can just command England and that guy over there just like that. Let's deal with this quick then. England, spit it out. I had a bad dream two days ago. In the dream, two I saw two Earths crashing into each other. I saw the other me that you once told me about, Alistair. Are you serious? sure about that? Yes, he even talked to me. What did he say? Something about the end of the world. This is serious. Hey, wait a minute. Iggy, you sure it wasn't just a normal dream? Of course. And don't call me Iggy. I haven't contacted uh, that world for the other time, but the other Earth you saw is definitely that world. I had a similar dream. Yeah. Once again, that's actually... The photo that they're using is Ireland. I'm not gonna complain, because they don't... Because the only one that's really identifiable is... Uh, Scotland. Ireland and Wales look very similar. So I'm not gonna put it... I'm not gonna put blame on them for this. This is just something I know. I know, because I was like... That was one of the first photos I saw. When, um, doing, like, oh, what are, s what other people made? Like, is, is there a Philippines? Is there, 
and they do show um Scotland and I was curious in the anime they did show him for like a brief second so you know I'm sorry I'm late Wales you finally came nice to see you Scott you too Arthur yeah you too and Dylan I see you brought a guest with you wow the way he talks is just like Ireland Take a seat, Wales, and explain what you mean you had a similar dream. Okay. I didn't see the other me, but I did see two Earths crashing into each other, shattering like glass. After that, I saw the sea. I didn't see that in my dream. Continue. Then I saw the reflection. Saw. F then I saw reflected in the sea, the image of a ruined world, black sky, people dying of diseases, war. That sounds horrible. At first, I thought it was just a strange dream, but then it happened again. And again, and again. So I started taking it seriously. If Wales had the same dream, then we can say that that's a vision of the future. Why? Because Wales has the ability to see the future in his dreams, or to put it in the, the way he is a dream seer. That's awesome, dude. Then you must. I'm gonna be. I must. Can, I'm gonna be the coolest here in the world, right? Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, I suppose. Okay, now back to the topic. I think the other you might be the key to this whole thing. Yes, I agree. If the worlds are coming to an end, just like yours and Dylan's dreams, we might actually have a bigger part. Let's start with him. But how are we going to fix it in detail? Changing the future is very hard. I'm not sure how we're supposed to fix it, but we're going to have to figure out how we need to change. Does anyone think this is related to the hypothesis of the end of the world? The X day. But that's ridiculous. I agree with America. I can't be. Whatever. That's just my guess. But it's worth thinking about. If that's the case, we really don't have much time. Sure, but you and England have been having dreams a lot, right? That means the days might be coming sooner than we think. Yeah, but I don't understand. Well, America, I think you should go back home now. What?! Your work here is done. I don't need you to. I don't need to be rescued, and I don't need. And I and I just need someone to come with you. If the frog were here, I would just shoot him away already. But after hearing all that, you're gonna do something dangerous, right? Just go home, America. You too. Now it's time for the super magical stuff like magic, which you're not interested in, and you don't even have the ability to do so. Right, America. America, right. We're sorry, but this stuff is kind of private. We can't let you in, but just leave it to us, America. Fine. Finally. Do you think he can get home by himself? He'll be fine. And besides, I don't want him or anyone else getting involved with this. What are we going to do next, Scotland? If the other you appeared in your dreams, then he must want to see you. However, even though that world's parallel to ours, people aren't the same. It's complete opposite. So the plan is, we'll have to go to the basement. Wales and I are going to teleport you into that world. Ireland, you're going to take sh charge of making the magic circle. I understand. Well then, let's get back to our family combat. That's not family a combat. You just want to drink alcohol. And you, de <laughs> and you will definitely get drunk. Ireland, say something. Well, tomorrow is a big day, so... Scott? Yeah. Let's do it. You too, England. I don't think it's a good idea, but... Oh, well, at least I can hold my liquor better than you. Oh, yeah, let's do it. God, am I the only one who has... I'm the only one who has to do Klee. Ah, oh, perfect. The game has crashed. Hopefully not. Sometimes these things can come back. But if it has crashed and I didn't save... Because, you know, cutscenes are this long. I'll be back in a few minutes, just so we can see the rest of this cutscene. And we are back. I have fixed this. Haha. -ha. Anyways. God, am I the only one who has to clean up this the mess you guys make? That family. They're nuts. Now I'm supposed... To, now what am I supposed to do after hearing all that? Huh? There's something in my pocket. What's this? 
I have the fun, the Germany. Hold on. No, this is the entrance. That's not the way to Germany's room. Italicum. Japan, it's nice to see you. What are you doing here? I have some business to attend to. What about you, Italicum? There, I need to find the Germany. I need to see him too. Let's go, shall we? Okay. By the way, Japan, would you like to stay the night with us? Uh, can I? We're friends, right? Don't be shy. Well, if you insist. Germany's room is on the right. He only has regular clothes. Pasta lover! There! We've come to see you, Germany. Oh, it's you two. Take a seat. Arigato! There! Okay. So what do you need, Japan? My country has recently experienced some earthquakes and I don't know what to do. Is that so? But why have you come to me? Didn't you say that was normal in your country? I know, but this time it's different. First, I thought it was just a small earthquake and wouldn't do any harm to me. After a few days, my chest began to feel heavy. Then I would find it hard to breathe. My back kick is even worse than before, and... And... It's... Really well... You don't need to hide something if it's something serious. You can still talk to me in Italy. We're always ready to help. Eh? That's right! We're a friend to Japan. Are you still here? Do you want some pasta? Thank you, but that's not what I hesitate. To tell you. I think it's rather ridiculous. That's alright, I usually ask Germany to tie my shoelaces. Hey, I'm still here, you know, and it's not usually, it's not just usually, it's always. Eh, thinks, I guess. Well, last night I had a dream about the person who was covered in the blood and injuries. He screamed and eek at the end of the year ago. Could you please be quiet until Japan finishes? You interrupted his speech as well two days ago. Don't be in the matter to the country, son. As I was saying, he was badly injured and tired. Then he looked at me and I was shocked because he looked exactly like me. What? I see. Probably just a weird dream. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I told myself that too, but then that's an easy feeling if you still need. Hold on, you dreamed about your other self? I did too! R really? Yes. That's why I wanted to meet Germany, so you could calm me down and protect me. I'm not your nanny! <laughs> But that's unusual to dream about people who look like us. Yeah, and the other, my other self is super scary. His smile is super creepy. Even creepier than Russia's. And he was Japan? No, not again. Not now. J Japan, what's wrong? No, not again. Uh. Japan! Wake up, please don't scare me. Stop shaking him, Italy. His pulse is fast, he's sweating. He's in real pain. This isn't the normal comatose. No, it must be. Ugh. I still remember this condition from World War II. Take Japan to, to bed. I'll call up the doctor, though I'm not sure he'll be any of help. What do you mean? This condition only appears when he's been cut, hit, or rather tortured. There? But I didn't see anyone torturing him right now. I know. That's why I'm worried about it. This isn't normal. Anyway, I can do my best to treat him. I'll try to take... Think of a cure later. Japan. Even Germany isn't sure about this. Should I call someone else to ask for her? I can't call to Russia. He's out to Big Brothers France and Spain. In Japan and Zoom, this is so weird. Maybe there's someone more familiar with these kinds of things. I know. But I'm scared of him. But Japan needs my help. And he... He is Japan's friend, so he'll help me cure him. Oh, did you see that? I turned to England. My god, this place is a mess. How long have it, has it been since you last cleaned the basement, Scotland? I don't know, maybe a year? Stay away from me. Be careful, this place is full of rats and bats. All of which are unfriendly. 
When this is all over, when this is all over, I'll be taking a shower. Twice. We are finally at a saving point. As you can see, that is the last time I could possibly have saved. Well, other than with Italy. So, thank you so much for watching. Next time, we'll be traveling through Scotland's dirty-ass basement. Uh, my name is Hannah, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!